there! I'm Shri Bose, the co-founder of Piper, and welcome to the Piper Educator video series. This is the first of seven instructional videos on how to get started with the Piper Computer Kit in your classroom. While watching these videos, please check out the Piper Facilitation Guide for a closer look into the Piper experience. This professional development should take about four hours to complete. With your classroom set of Piper Computer Kits, we're excited for your students to experience the innovative, sleek evolution of the Piper Computer Kit design, complete with the physical, hands-on building experience kids love, a gaming experience within the Raspberry Pi edition of Minecraft that will challenge them, and for a lot of students, their first experience inventing and creating with technology. Along the way, we encourage collaborative learning, creative problem solving, and design thinking, all the confidence building skills that inspire kids to go from consuming technology to inventing it. There are five phases, and it all starts with phase one, where students use a blueprint to build their Piper computer kit. You'll see students assemble their Piper computer kit with only a Phillips screwdriver and the blueprint in front of them. There's some cool design features in there, from the tiered desktop design, which allows students to see all of the exposed components of the computer they're building, to the nifty little magnetic drawer built as a storage solution for the small electronics components. Then it's on to phase two, where students turn on their Piper computers and explore our story mode missions. We've designed the Piper experience to have all of the guidance embedded into the story. So instead of following directions, kids build physical hardware to interact with the virtual challenges. Need to have a blinking light to help Piperbot and Pip find a golden wrench? Watch your students build those LED circuits and bring the story and psst, the electrical engineering concepts to life in front of them. Once kids become familiar with hardware and electronics, it's time to move on to learning how to program these electronics in phase th three. Piper code. With Google Blockly drag and drop coding projects, students will build and program small pieces of hardware and interact with the Python code to learn the basics of coding. If your kids have the Sensor Explorer add-on, students will also be able to unlock extra levels in phase four with design thinking and a deeper understanding of how technology interacts with the world around us, using the ultrasonic rangefinder, the color sensor, and the temperature sensor. And finally, your students won't want to stop, but a key part of the Piper experience is the disassembly of the Piper computers, turning them back into Piper computer kits, ready for your next of class of students to experience the magic. With pre and post surveys of your students' perception of the experience and their own abilities, you'll be able to evaluate how the Piper classroom experience impacts your students. Sounds pretty awesome, right? We've also included some tips and tricks for working with Piper in the classroom on our page linked below, including simple things like setting up your collaborative classroom models to have two students per Piper and charging your classroom set of batteries ahead of time. But not to worry, in this series, we'll guide you through the specifics of each of the phases and make sure your Piper Computer Kit classroom experience is an incredible one. Thanks for watching and let's get started.